What law exists to explain tieflings with blue skin? Tieflings in 5e at least have either human skin color, red skin, or somewhere in between. I think 4e changed how tieflings look between two thirds, 3.5e and 5e, standardizing the red skin asmodius look. But I believe that the tiefling skin color has always been within this range from the little I know of the previous editions. From the 5e tiefling player race description, Infernal Bloodline section, PHB P42, the skin tones cover the full range of human coloration, but also include various shades of red. The official art I've seen of tieflings in 5e, and again, the little I've seen of previous editions, backs this up showing mostly red tieflings, however, from tiefling variant sidebar Sword Coast Adventurer's Guide, p. 118, rather than having the physical characteristics described in the player's handbook, choose 1d4 plus 1 following features, small horns, fangs or sharp teeth, a forked tongue, cat-like eyes, six fingers on each hand, goat-like legs, cloven hoofs, a forked tail, leathery or scaly skin, red or dark blue skin, cast no shadow or reflection, exude a smell of brimstone, so there is a rule here that allows tieflings to have blue skin. Unfortunately, this is the most I've seen in 5e material that refers to tieflings having blue skin. I have not been able to find any law presented in 5e materials that might explain why a tiefling might have blue skin, what law exists to explain why a tiefling might have blue skin as opposed to the more usual red or human skin color, I've heard some people online and IRL say that it relates to the different bloodlines as per the options presented in Mordenkind's Tome of Foes, but reading that section of that book, it doesn't mention skin color at all, so I'm not sure where this interpretation came from but it doesn't appear to be raw, official, I'm looking for official law, ideally from 5e but law from previous editions is welcome to I'm guessing AD&D 2e Planescape stuff might shed some light on this, I'm looking for law from any official setting, but if that's not specific enough, let's say Forgotten Realms, the reason I'm reluctant to commit to a specific setting is because, as I understand it, all settings are technically part of the Planescape multiverse, someone can correct me in the comments if I've misinterpreted that, related, https colon slash slash rpg.stackexchange.com slash q slash 144706 Seven slash three five two five nine closely related, but it asks what appearances are for which fiendish bloodline. Whereas I'm after any lore explanation for skin tone specifically. https colon slash slash rpg dot stack exchange dot com slash q slash sixteen nineteen ninety four slash three five two five nine loosely related. As this question was just asking to justify a skin tone choice without much emphasis on lore explanation. Tieflings were introduced for the two e planescape setting. While the original campaign setting does not give any detailed information about their appearance. The Plain Walker's Handbook offers a table page 80 for randomly generating tiefling characters and that table includes green, blue or red tinted skin as possibilities. Yet no association is made about which ancestry leads to what features. The 3 E. Races of Farron relates certain characteristics to the particular ancestors of each tiefling page 125 to 126. For example hooves or goat-like legs are associated with devils, cat eyes are associated with rakshasa, etc. Here we also read the association of the skin color with ancestors, red for demons, devils and bruised blue with night hags. <laughs>